Good morning. I am just pulling in for boot camp. It's a beautiful morning. It's like 46 degrees, so I'm actually wearing a t-shirt. I've officially transitioned from sweatshirts and hoodies to t-shirt and leggings, and then we'll transition into tank tops and leggings, then tank tops and shorts. It's a progression as we go through the warmer months, but I'm really actually, I'm looking forward to my workout today. I, I head to San Diego on Saturday to run a 10K with my friend Rachel and to just hang out with her for the weekend. So I won't be at boot camp next Monday. So I'm really focused this week on getting in the best workout that I can Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have quite a few things going on today. I have coaching calls. I also want to do some organization in my office and my closet where my makeup and skincare is. And we may run a couple errands today. I'm just going to see how the day, where the day takes us. Troy and I are planning on cleaning the house. I have a Lola update for you. It's just going to be a busy day. So I am going to get my workout in and I will see you back at home for breakfast. I'm home from boot camp. I am ready for the day. Decided that I wanted to kind of rock my St. Patty's Day shirt today. Have fun St. Patty's Day nails as well. So we're channeling our inner green vibes today and I'm ready for some breakfast. I am super, super hungry. I actually finished my protein coffee. I make it every single morning when I got home from boot camp. That was about 35 minutes ago and now my stomach's growling and we need some breakfast. So I'm going to have one of these real good breakfast sandwiches. It's actually my last one in the box. These are incredible. Way, way better than I expected them to be. These are bacon, egg, and cheddar cheese. And the bun or the bread of it is actually made out of cauliflower. You would never know. It actually tastes like bread. There is seven net carbs, 14 grams of protein, 260 calories, and I want to say they're five points a piece. Absolutely delicious. I got these on sale at Walmart for $5. I kind of want to go back and see if they have some more boxes because if they do, I'm going to buy them all. I don't know if they're being discontinued or maybe Walmart isn't going to carry them anymore, but they are so good. And I just warm it up in my microwave for about 90 seconds delicious. And then I have some blueberries here that I want to finish off as well. I'm going to go ahead and weigh these out. I think this is about a hundred grams, but we're going to have a breakfast sandwich and some blueberries. So here is what the little breakfast sandwich looks like. I'm telling you, you would never know that there's cauliflower in the bread. It is so good. Bacon, egg, cheese, delicious. So highly recommend if you can find them. Let me show you the package one more time. This is what it looks like. I'm actually going to save this for my favorites video just in case I can't find them again, but I love them. I was pleasantly surprised. And then I did weigh out, it's just a little over 100 grams of fresh blueberries. So this is this morning's breakfast. So I've been doing a little bit of spring cleaning. I cleaned out a lot of the cabinets in our house and just got them a little bit more organized. We have a couple cabinets in our hallway that I organized. I did under the sink in our bathroom, my kitchen cabinets, and now I'm going to work on that closet back there. You know I love makeup and skincare. I have a lot of backup makeup and skincare, especially because I used to get so many beauty subscription boxes that I just have a lot of product. As you know, one of my goals for 2024 is less overconsumption. So I've actually canceled most of my beauty subscription boxes so that I can work through what I have. So I have these drawers in my closet that I store my backup skincare, makeup, hair care, and then all the things that I use for giveaways and things in my Facebook group. And I wanted to make it a little bit more organized, easier to find. What I'm having to do is open drawers and dig through them because I don't know what types of products are in each drawer. So for example, morning moisturizers, nighttime serums, eye cream. So I'm having to go through and dig through drawers. So I ordered this little label maker off of Amazon and I wanted something I didn't have to worry about. Ink, I didn't have to worry about trying to plug it in. This is USB and you don't have to purchase ink for this. This is the size of it and it's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is print some labels for my drawers in my closet so that I can have them labeled and more organized. So first I'm going to go through the drawers, organize them, and then we'll label them so that I can actually find things. I got my Polano little label maker right off of Amazon for an incredible deal. It's a portable Bluetooth label printer for organizing your office, home. You can make address labels, price labels, sticker labels, really anything that you want. It's all done directly from your phone. It comes in multiple colors. I picked mine up in white. There's a pretty baby blue, a mint green, and a pink as well. You can literally use this label maker with one hand. It has a built-in durable battery, so it can be charged USB, put in your pocket, easy to carry, and will last 
for days. The label maker actually comes with the tape that you use to make the individual labors. You labels. You can get high definition printing without any ink or toner. Download the Label Nice app from either Google Play Store or the App Store. Install the label maker tape that comes with the label maker. Connect your phone via Bluetooth to the label maker and you're off. You can make all the labels that you want. The app is going to give you tons of free templates and icons with different texts, numbers, graphics, symbols, logos, barcodes, QR codes, etc. You can use the label maker either with an iOS or Android phone, but it's not compatible with desktop computers. Polano even has their own thermal label paper. It actually comes with a full row when you purchase the label maker, and then you can purchase additional rolls of the label maker tape on Amazon. Refills of the tape are only about $9. I love all the different fonts that you can use. It actually has multiple languages that you can print in. There's borders, icons. I'm even thinking I may label things in my kitchen with this. I mean, really the possibilities are endless. And again, you can pick it up right off of Amazon. I think my drawers look amazing, much more organized. I'll be able to find things a lot easier. I can't wait to print more labels. I really just wanna to go to town printing all sorts of labels with this. I can see Troy using this to label things in the garage. Just really, truly the possibilities are endless. So I'll link the Polano label maker in the description box for you. What? Do you need a treat before my call? Mommy has to get on a call. Yeah, you do? Do you want a treat? Well, come on. My goodness, it's an exciting day at the Clayton house. Yeah, this for you, bud. The gentle. And you, little missy, not as gentle. I'm going to have a morning snack and make up my protein coffee before I head out to run a couple of errands. Of course, I'll take you guys with me on our errands and I will give you a Lola update in the car, but I'm going to have two of the Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. You guys know how much I love these. I buy these right off of her website. I'll link them for you. Love, love, love them. Two of these little oatmeal cookies has only 90 calories, three grams of fat, seven grams of fiber and four grams of protein. They're an amazing snack. And then of course, I'm making my favorite protein, coffee. I have this new little concoction that I've been loving, similar to what I typically make, but I add in another ingredient. So I'm going to use Drag Up Cold Brew. Right now I have the white chocolate mousse, but I love every single flavor of Drag Up. You can't go wrong with them. And I just make it in my cold brew pitcher. I bought this pitcher off of Amazon. I'll put everything for my protein coffee down below for you. And I actually did a whole video on different protein coffee recipes, but I use some Drake Make up cold brew and then I use clean simple eats protein I change up the flavors but this has been my favorite mocha really decadent chocolate protein coffee so I use the chocolate protein brown or the chocolate brownie batter clean simple eats protein this is so good it's so rich and chocolatey and then I use my Herbalife high protein iced coffee mix in mocha this is almost gone I actually just ordered another bag and then this is really the secret ingredient that gives it more of a rich cocoa flavor plus you get all of the superfood benefits I've shared this multiple times on my channel it's from the brand Earth Echo I love this this is their cacao bliss cacao powder or cacao powder is chocolate so this is going to really enhance all the chocolate and all the rest of the ingredients. This is ceremonial grade, high quality organic cacao. It's gluten free, dairy free, soy free, and non GMO. I put one tablespoon, which is 30 calories. And what's in here is raw, raw cacao, turmeric, MCT oil, lucuma, and four other superfoods. Superfood blend gives you natural energy, mental clarity, and supports a healthy inflammatory response. It is 100% vegan and keto friendly as well. It's made with very simple ingredients, raw cacao, which supports your body's natural ability to maintain healthy blood sugar levels and promotes optimal carbohydrate metabolism, and then turmeric, which we know how great that is for inflammation. I use turmeric a lot for inflammation. And then we have black pepper, which increases the bioavailability of the turmeric. MCT powder, which helps you feel satiated longer and helps release stubborn fat deposits. Cinnamon, which improves your body's ability to digest glucose and reduce your desire for sugary treats, which I definitely need. Monk fruit, which is the natural sweetener to satisfy your sweet tooth. Coconut nectar, which is a probiotic 
probiotic and helps with a healthy gut. Lacuma adds a little bit of caramel-like flavor. That is so nice in the cacao powder. Mesquite, which is a sweet and nutty superfood that does not cause, cause blood sugar spikes and of course helps with your immune system. Himalayan salt, which is 8% minerals and trace elements to balance your pH levels. This is a high quality cacao blend. You have to be really careful of cacao powders in the store. This is ceremonial grade, single ingredient from Peru. There's so many things that you can do with this. You can bake with this. You can mix this into yogurt. Anything you want to bulk up the chocolate flavor and get all the benefits of the superfoods and the amazing, amazing ingredients, Cacao Bliss is where it's at. So I do actually have a discount code for them as well. Like I said, I'll put everything for my protein coffee down below, but let me show you how I make it. I'm going to make a blended coffee today. So I'm going to add some of my cold brew to my little Ninja blender. And then I do my Clean Simple Eats, one scoop of Clean Simple Eats protein powder. You can use any flavor. One tablespoon of the secret amazing ingredient, which is the Earth Echo Cacao Bliss. And then two scoops of the protein coffee mix. Some ice, and then I blend it up. It's literally a chocolate healthy, high protein, blended frappuccino. Does this not look like your local coffee shop with 35 grams of protein? And by adding in the Earth Echo Cacao Bliss, it really just brings this to a next level. It is so rich and decadent and chocolatey. Incredible, absolutely delicious, and you're getting all the health benefits from the Cacao Bliss. This is something I've been loving adding to my protein coffee. And again, I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out and 35 grams of protein. I went ahead and put mine in a to-go cup because we're gonna head out and run some errands. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't I'm loving all the neon. First stop, canned dog food. I was seeing if they had those real good breakfast sandwiches and they don't. Man, I'm wondering if they're being discontinued. Definitely, definitely taking advantage of this offer. $50 of household gives you a $15 gift card. Put your cart back, people. Put your cart back. Target run done. Let's do a little Target haul in the car. Troy just called me with some really good news, so I'll fill you guys in on Troy and Lola on the way home. But first thing I found was this jar. How cute is this? This was in the dollar spot, $5. It has a sealable lid. What I wanna do with this is fill it with Easter candy and put it out on my counter for Easter. I thought that would be really fun. So I did grab some Easter candy. They were buy one, get one half off. So I got the little Hershey's wrapped eggs. I've never had these Reese's Pieces eggs. And then these I love. I love a good robin egg and I went ahead and got the mini. So I'm gonna fill that jar with Easter candy. I got whipped cream because you know I love Target's flavored whipped cream and they had some new flavors for spring. First is lavender lemonade. I love lavender, so that sounds amazing. I also got strawberry, which I've had before, which I really like. And then I got the marshmallow, which I really like. And you know, my dogs love whipped cream too. I put this on my yogurt bowls, my protein shakes. I just like it for a little sweetness. I even like it on sugar-free jello, especially the fruity flavors like strawberry. And then I did take advantage of the buy $50 of household, get a ten, $15 gift card. So I got a $15 gift card. And so what I grabbed was the little scrubbing bubbles, fresh gel. I love these for my toilet. It helps with the ring 
that builds up in the toilet. We have such hard water here that our new toilets already have a ring and this definitely helps. Plus it keeps it fresh and smelling good. And then I got a three pack of sponges because mine's pretty crusty. And then Troy had asked for ammonia free Windex for our car windows. We have them tinted and you're not supposed to use Windex on tinted windows or TV. So he likes to have the ammonia free. And then I got the Gain Fireworks Laundry Scent Beads. I love this scent. And then I got 10 cans of the Kindful Dog Food. My dogs have a little scoop of this every morning. We call it taking their medicine. So when Diesel was alive, he had to take a lot of medication. And the only way we could get him to take his pills was in canned food. So we've just carried on that tradition because if our dogs ever need medication this is the best way to take it so now they're in the routine of getting a little scoop in the morning and a little scoop at night and we always say time for your medicine and we give them some canned food so I did a restock of their food and then I also got the downy balance this smells so good it's crisp rain and blue eucalyptus oh it smells amazing and then I got another one of those scrubbing bubbles fresh gel for our other bathroom and then I have no bleach at my house I don't know why. So I grabbed just a small thing of bleach. We have a white comforter in our spare bedroom. And then I like to bleach my whites every once in a while. And then I got two bags of Palmer's. We call these his chicken bones. He's had these since he was a puppy. They're actually the puppy ones because they're small. And it's turkey and sweet potato. And he gets a half of one of these every morning. And then I was so excited as I was walking through the food section when I was looking for those real good chicken sandwiches. I saw this bread. And remember in my grocery haul, I talked about how I wanted to make avocado toast and recreate what I had at that restaurant. This is literally the bread that was at that restaurant. These kind of awkward sliced multi-grain pieces. So we're having avocado toast for lunch or as part of our lunch when we get home. I was so excited about that. So that's everything that I grabbed on my Target run. It was $130, I believe. So not bad. And then I got a $15 gift card. Okay, so a million updates time. Really, really good updates. So I have an update on Troy and I have an update on Lola. Let's start with Lola. So I mentioned on my Instagram and I let you guys know in a video, not giving you a lot of information, but let you know that there was some concern with Lola and potentially having a enlarged lymph node and potentially being out of remission of lymphoma. So Lola went back to the oncologist last Tuesday, so a week ago, and she measured Lola's lymph node. She had been to the oncologist two weeks prior and between that visit and the visit this last week, her lymph node had grown a little bit. It was two and a quarter millimeters the time before and a little over three millimeters this time. So that made her a little bit more concerned that Lola may potentially be out of remission or in the very early stages of relapse back into lymphoma. But she did only have the one swollen lymph node and it was a mandibular lymph node. More on that later. So we decided because it had grown between her last visit and this last Tuesday that we would go ahead and aspirate it and send it in so that we can try to get definitive answers on whether or not she was in the early stages of relapse of lymphoma. Now, good news for Lola is she's been in remission a little over a year, which is amazing. It's the average is a year and Lola, the warrior that she is, has exceeded that already. So we aspirated that. Lola also had a full panel of senior blood work done at our regular vet and in that blood work her calcium levels are high and that is definitely a concern especially because she's an older dog and she has lymphoma she still has cancer she's just in remission from the cancer and so we went ahead and tested her blood again at the oncologist and her calcium levels were even a little bit more elevated than a few weeks prior at our regular vet which was of concern but also so confusing for her oncologist because typically those raised levels of calcium happen at the diagnosis of lymphoma and through chemo and until the dog goes into remission. Well, Lola's calcium was completely fine the entire time she had lymphoma and the entire time she was in chemo and now all of a sudden it's elevated. So it's a concern. So we decided to do a test where basically we take a sample and I guess it's sent to some cryo chamber and it grows for a couple weeks and basically long story short they can tell us what the cause of the elevated 
calcium is. So we know, and if it's an issue that we need to address, we'll be able to address it. And with that, there were a couple other weird things in her blood, a couple elevated things in her blood, but nothing to be super concerned about other than the calcium. And then the other concerning piece is she has quite a bit of protein in her urine. And she had that at the regular vet. She had that again when they did a urine sample at the oncologist. That could indicate some type of issue with her kidneys. So we are having that tested as well to see exactly what the source of the elevated protein is. And if Lola needs some type of kidney medication or something, we will we will have that information. So we did an exam, blood work, a urine test, a calcium test, and a protein test was a thousand dollars, a thousand twenty-eight at the oncologist. And the calcium test and the protein test, they can take a week to two to come back. So I don't anticipating hearing about those until maybe this week or even next week. I did get a hold of them on Friday of this last week about the aspiration of her lymph node. That test was supposed to come back on Wednesday and I never heard from anybody. So I didn't know if maybe they just got busy or maybe the test was delayed. So I called on Friday. Her oncologist is on vacation. I knew that. She let me know that on Tuesday when we were there. So I spoke with one of the nurses and the aspiration of Lola's swollen lymph node essentially came back inconclusive. It said that it could likely be caused from excess fluid. And remember I mentioned it being a mandibular lymph node. So those are the lymph nodes right here. Now, when Lola was diagnosed with lymphoma, it was the lymph nodes here that were swollen. So your mandibular lymph node, at least in dogs and most likely in humans, is the lymph node that drainage goes into. So for dogs, for example, if they have an infection or something in their mouth that can drain into the mandibular lymph node, which can cause that lymph node to be enlarged. So it's likely that it's that. Now we don't know what the cause of that is, which is obviously concerning. So I'm waiting for the oncologist to call me back to go over what could be the cause of the drainage into the mandibular lymph node. And is there something we need to be concerned about or do? And then it also said that it's possible that it could be the early stages of relapse into lymphoma because it is a swollen lymph node. So that is, of course, still a cause for concern. But the good news is, is that that didn't come back conclusive that she was out of remission. So I asked the nurse, I'm like, well, what do you recommend that I do? Because lymphoma is a very fast progressing cancer. And if she's in the early stages, say stage one of relapse, she was stage four or five when we started chemo. If she's in stage one, we want to curtail it from progressing to another stage by starting chemo again. So I asked the nurse, I said, what do you recommend that I do? And she said at this point, nothing. Lola's completely healthy and fine. I don't feel the lymph node. That lymph node hasn't changed. She doesn't have the swollen lymph nodes in the front. And like I said, she's acting fine. She's eating, she's drinking, she's beating up Palmer. They're playing. So at this point, we're doing nothing. So we're in limbo still with pretty much everything with Lola. We're waiting. I'm waiting for the oncologist to actually call me back and I anticipate that will most likely happen either this week or when they get all the test results back but I'm not in panic mode and I haven't cried every day because I'm going to rest on the fact that she's still in remission which is incredible she's I'm telling you that my baby girl is a warrior she is literally the best thing in the world and I'm so proud of her and I tell her every night how much I love her and that Deese was watching over her so I'm resting in the fact that she's still in remission and this lymph node could be swollen for some other reason which obviously we need to get to the bottom of. So I will keep you guys updated as I hear more. I know you guys love her as much as I do. And like I said, she's my best friend in the whole world. I'm so proud of her. She, she literally is an 11 and a half year old Pitbull Boxer Mix Warrior. Like she's amazing. So we're gonna call it good news for now. And of course I'll keep you again posted on everything with Lola. So while I was in line at Target waiting to pay, Troy called me and our attorney called from his social security disability and let us know that he's approved. I told him best news ever. So Troy has officially been approved for social security disability. They are going to give us two years of back pay dating back to the day that we applied. Now, of course we have to pay our attorney out of that back pay. And I want to say that they take a maximum of 7,200. Now his back pay will most likely be more than that, maybe even substantially more than that. That's all based on how much he gets monthly from Social Security, which right now we have no information. We don't know how much he's going to receive monthly. We don't know how much the back pay is. We don't know when his Social Security 
payments are officially going to start. We know nothing. So the attorney has a call in to find out what's going on, get us some dates, push it through. Once we get the proof or the letter that he's been approved for social security, we then submit that to Troy's union and Troy will get his union medical benefits back. I will have medical benefits again as well, which is great. And he will be able to draw 85% of his pension early based on his disability. And then when he turns 62 or 65, he'll get his full pension. So literally the best news ever. Like this week has been filled with good news between Lola and Troy. And I told Troy on the phone, I don't even care about the money that he gets from social security. I just want me to have medical again and him to have his medical. I want him to be able to draw his pension that he worked over 25 years for. So right now we don't have anything. We don't know when we're going to receive payment. We don't know any of that. So again, I'll keep you guys posted, but this has been two agonizing years getting him social security disability. We were denied. We had to hire an attorney. It was delayed because we moved to Arizona. So seriously, really good news. I, I, I know Troy is happy because if you didn't know, and I've, I've shared this multiple times for the last year and a half, Troy has had no income. He has had no income coming in and 600 a month going out for Cobra, which he has to have Cobra. He needs to have medical. So we've been paying Cobra for almost 18 months. So it's going to be nice that Troy will have an income that as a man, as the head of the household, that's going to definitely make him feel better that he's contributing financially. So I'm blessed that we have been able to make it without his income. I'm blessed that we sold our house when we did in Washington and we were able to pay off all of our bills and put some money in the bank so that we could put Lola through chemo so that we could live comfortably while Troy didn't have an income. So this is just all around really good news. And, and again, if Lola has to go through chemo again, it's another 10 to $11,000 plus and the social security and the back pay will definitely help. So I'm just feeling really blessed really, really blessed. I'm, I'm happy for Troy. I know that it's a relief for him as well. And he think he says all the time that he doesn't know what he would do without me because how would he live with no income? So I tell him we're married and it's give and take and I will support him now and he can support me in the future with his pension because I don't have a pension. So I it's part of being married, it's part of supporting each other, but I'm really happy, you guys. I'm really, really happy and completely relieved that these two things have been taken care of. So those are the updates. They're fantastic updates. I am almost home and I'm hungry. So let's make this amazing avocado toast for lunch. And then I think I'm going to have cottage cheese with it as well for some protein. Obviously there's not a ton of protein in avocado toast. So I'm going to bulk it up with some cottage cheese. I just got home and look, I put together the candy jar. How cute is this? And again, the jar was only $5 in the dollar spot at Target. You can use this for flour, sugar. I should have bought more because these are really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this out on my kitchen island and we'll have Easter candy that we can munch on. And we're going to my in-laws for Easter. So we'll take some over there. But I think this is so cute. Kind of that candy salad that you see all over TikTok is basically what I made here. So cute. We're gonna make that avocado toast. So we're gonna use the bread I found at Target. This is the Favorite Day Multigrain Bread. It is 120 calories per slice. This is the bread that they had at the bakery coffee shop place we went to. And then I have an avocado, one egg. Now they poached the egg. I think I'm just going to cook it normal and I like to chop it up and put it on the avocado toast. And then the star of the show truly is the mandarin oranges. These are the no sugar added mandarin oranges. I know that sounds weird, but it's so good on my avocado toast. And then I'm going to slice up some radicchio and you want a microgreen. I'm using arugula because I like that little peppery vibe that it gives. I'm also going to put Kerrygold butter on my bread for the salty, sweet, savory vibe. And then, like I said, we're going to have half of a cup of cottage cheese to get in the protein. So let me go ahead and put together the avocado toast and I'll show you lunch. Look at how amazing this looks. This is a recreation of that avocado toast. I'm so excited. I ended up doing 75 grams of avocado, which was almost which was that whole teeny avocado, my egg, mandarin oranges, the arugula, the radicchio. I'm super excited for this. And then I did half of a cup of the low fat cottage cheese. So this is my amazing healthy lunch. Of course, I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. So it is afternoon snack time and I have a new food find to share with you. I've been eating these 
pretty much daily. Actually, one of my coaching clients told me about them and I went onto their website and bought two boxes and I'm happy that I did. I will tell you right out of the gate, you can find these at health food stores like Sprouts, but they're more expensive. And these little guys are called midday squares. This is what they look like. Oh, there you go, sorry. They are called midday squares. And again, one of my coaching clients told me about it. And I have three different flavors. I have the peanut butter, the almond brownie, and the brownie batter. These are so good, you guys. And the macros on these are absolute perfection. They're anywhere from 160 to 170 calories. They have four grams of fiber and six to seven grams of protein, and they are so good. They literally have a chocolate coating and then like a cookie base. They're incredible. The ingredients are really, really good. The macros are really, really good. I think today we'll do the peanut butter. So this is 170 calories, six grams of protein, four grams of fiber. These are such good ingredients that they have to be refrigerated. And like I said, I bought these off of the Midday Squares website. I'm going to see if I can snag a discount for you guys before I put this video out. Otherwise, I'll link their website down below for you. But this is basically what they look like. So you can see they have this really thick chocolate top and then a cookie base. They are so good. It's like a decadent brownie dessert. All of the flavors are delicious. I would probably rank them peanut butter first, almond brownie second, and brownie batter third, but literally they're all super, super good. Such a great snack, a fantastic dessert. They're portable. Do keep in mind they have to be refrigerated, but seriously, these are so good. They're so satisfying and filling. I'm obsessed with them. So I will link midday squares down below for you. If I can get you a discount, it'll be down there as well, but we're gonna have one of these as our snack. For dinner tonight, I am making lasagna because like I said, I wanna try out those Fiber Gourmet lasagna noodles. That's new to the line. So we're gonna do a lasagna and then I'm actually going to use the rest of this Italian bread that I had bought for the avocado toast before I found the perfect bread at Target and I'm going to make some homemade garlic bread. So let me show you what you'll need for the lasagna. You're going to need 32 ounces of marinara sauce. If you're on Weight Watchers, I recommend a zero point marinara. I'm using the Kirkland Organic. This is so good, nice clean ingredients. Minced garlic, 15 ounces of low fat ricotta cheese. And again, I'm using the Fiber Gourmet lasagna noodles. These are new to Fiber Gourmet. You know I love their pasta. I order it all the time off of Nutrition, and I saw that they had lasagna noodles and we've got to try them out. So I'm excited for these. I buy Fiber Gourmet off Nutrition. I have a discount for you. I uh, will link it down below. You'll need an egg, light mozzarella cheese, a pound of 96% ground beef, Parmesan cheese, parsley, and salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is start browning my ground beef, and I have some water coming to a boil for our lasagna noodles. I forgot to mention, look at the calories, 110 when normal lasagna noodles are over 200. It's half the calories and half the points of regular pasta, and you get 24 grams of fiber per serving and seven grams of protein. So that is partially why I just love Fiber Gourmet. While our noodles are cooking and our meat is browning, we're going to mix up the cheese portion of our lasagna. So I'm adding half of a cup of Parmesan cheese, two cups of the reduced fat mozzarella. This bag right here is exactly two cups. 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, one egg, and then mix all of that cheese mixture together and set aside. Once your ground beef is cooked, we're going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic. Mix that up with your meat and allow that to become fragrant. And then add in your entire jar of marinara and stir. Allow it to simmer for just a couple more minutes, then remove it from the heat. So super simple to do the lasagna. Grab a nine by 13 pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to put just a thin layer of the meat sauce on the bottom, and then add your first layer of lasagna noodles. And then we're going to add our first layer of the yummy cheese mixture. Spread that out over the noodles. And then another layer of meat sauce and then repeat. And then top your lasagna with an extra cup, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, some parsley, and then you're going to cover it and put it in the oven for about 50 minutes. Definitely check it about 25 minutes in, see how it's coming along, and then we'll uncover it the last 10 minutes. Look at how good this lasagna looks, it smells 
so good in here. I'm going to go ahead and serve this up. I'm pulling the bread out of the oven now, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here is dinner. Uh, this looks pretty darn good. Looks like we're at a local Italian restaurant. This lasagna looks amazing. Uh, with the points and calories, I'll also put up here on the screen if I notice any difference with the Fibre Gourmet lasagna. I doubt it. I don't notice any difference with their regular pasta, but this looks incredible. It's the end of the night and I'm gonna have dessert and no surprise, I'm having a yogurt bowl. I always change up my yogurt bowls just a little bit, so here's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm going to have the vanilla Oikos, Oika, Oikos, Oikos triple zero vanilla yogurt. I'm going to top it with a banana. I have a couple of really small, super ripe bananas, and I really like the banana vanilla combo. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of chia smash. This is the strawberry. Again, this, this you can purchase at health food stores. I buy it on Amazon. You get six flavors, six jars shipped right to your doorstep. This is what it looks like. It's so good, you guys. It has four ingredients, strawberries, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. Perfection. I love it. It's a great jam substitute as well. Much better ingredients, much better macros. And then I just got a Catalina Crunch order. I just ordered off their website. I do have a discount for Catalina Crunch as well. I'll put everything in the description box, but I ordered the Honey Graham. How good is that going to be with banana and vanilla yogurt? It is a half of a cup for 110 calories. I do a quarter of a cup and that's going to give you almost six grams of protein and almost five grams of fiber. Love this, and a crunch on the yogurt bowl. And then we're gonna top it with our new strawberry whipped cream from Target. So let me put together my dessert, my yogurt bowl. I'll show it to you and give you all the points, calories, and macros. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens without no gloves. You can do better. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, seeing all the good stuff that I picked up, coming to Target. We had a really good day today. I mean, really good news in multiple areas. It was a fantastic day. I will, of course, link everything I shared with you down in the description box, as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories, new one on one coaching, discounts to my favorite things, and come follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group. Love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.